So when it dries, you repeat the process three times. Mm -hmm. And now you can use the fabric, you can draw on it. Once a piece is dyed in one of these dyes, it becomes a personal finish. Okay, it is called a personal finish. Okay, it's one word. So I carry to make you understand. Personal finish. Finish means cloth. Fabric. So here is a basnafini. Here is the a basnafini. So this is the very first technique. And at the very beginning, there was no design. It was plain color. Okay. And generally, it was the carving of sheep herds, fortune tellers, our local priests, masked dancers, young circumcised, so on and so on. They were dressed in cloth dyed in these dyes. Later on, a second thing was this color. It is called Bogola in Bambara. Okay. Iron rich clay to paint on a personal fini. Okay? You have a Bogola fini. Mud painted cloth, mud cloth, because of uh, the iron contained in the clay, so and because of the tannin in the dye, so there is a kind of chemical reaction which gives black color. But when you paint a piece only with natural dyes and so, this is a personal thing. For instance, this is a personal thing. But when I want, I can paint, I can make design with soap on it. But man cannot interfere here, okay? When you use clay to make design on it, it becomes a popular thing. And we have a third technique. Third. Okay? So this is the blue, indigo. It is called in Bamara Gala. So when you dye a piece blue, you have a gala fini. Okay. You see these <coughs> balls. There is a tree here, a small tree here. So these are pounded leaves. They are sold at the marketplace. Uh, if you want to dye a white piece blue, you must buy a big quantity of these balls and use a big container. You put a balls in the <laughs> container and you fill it half and you complete the contents with water. You close it and keep it for 21 days, three weeks. Okay, after three weeks, the smell becomes very strong. So it means at that time you can use your dye. Um, let's come back to the ball fini. It is the most used. This is the this technique is the most used. The women's invention. All women were getting ready for that day. They were making equipment kits for the young girls. Okay. And on this the pieces they were making for the girls, they were drawing symbols which conveyed coded messages in relation with the moral of the society. So um, we're going to talk about some of these symbols. So you have this symbol. It is called the teeth of the mouse. Or a jealous man is compared to a mouse. The teeth of a jealous man. Somebody, jealous man? Yes, who is jealous of his wife. Mm -hmm. 
so this is called the belt of my father is the footprint of the camel is the symbol of John trip this is the way of a dishonest man somebody who is not willing to pay his debt and here keep on the straight and narrow and here you have a junction a crossroad uh, in the Bambara culture the crossroad is very important so uh, this symbol on a piece is asking people to behave uh, like a crossroad to be useful to serve others um, to be available uh, this was fury now um, everybody is going to be given a, a bit of peace and you will pen on it. Uh, draw one of these symbols or any other uh, symbol you like or, or design you like. You will do it on your piece to see the chemical reaction of iron clay on a piece to help to make your ball and finish.